Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to a Modding Tools tutorial. Now first of all, what is SweetFX? SweetFX is a tool that allows you to improve and customize the graphics within your game. It allows you to uh, tweak uh, and change a lot of the settings in uh, DirectX games. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about that later, but essentially it gives you a lot more control over the graphical options and it changes a lot of things. Uh, it's an injector style thing, so it can go with tons of different games, and we're going to take a look at that now. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually download a Sweet FX. Um, you're going to navigate along to this page, and you are going to scroll down. It will have some screenshots. Um, this is compatible with EMB. It's, it's kind of a little bit similar here. Uh, there's some screenshots there, but uh, scroll down here, and there is a download location. There is one for Europe and one for the USA, so pick whichever one's closest to you. For me, the closest one is United States. So click that and download, which I've already done. You will get this right here. Uh, basically extract that and open it up and you'll get something like this. Now what is this? This is SweetFX. Uh, it has a bunch of different DirectX things, uh, in information. Basically all these files need to stay together. There's a readme and there's the most important thing, the settings. As you can see here, you can change a ton of stuff. Uh, you can put on uh, anti-aliasing, bloom, uh, other such things, but uh, first how do we use SweetFX? Well You have to put it into the game's directory So essentially what you do is you go computer I'm gonna use Dishonored. It works with a lot of game, but I think Dishonored is the one I'm gonna use So basically you go through a game and you find the executable right here Dishonored.exe. This is the thing that when you click on it, it launches the game uh, this might be in Win32 binaries. I'm going to show you another executable really quickly, just in case you're not aware of what they are. I'll show you the one for Planetside 2. Alright, so uh, that one is right in here. Planetside2.exe, it's in the main folder. But we're going to go to Dishonored. That one's in binaries in Win32. Once you see this here, essentially to install SweetFX, you just take all of this, you drag and you drop. You'll copy it in here. You won't get this message, uh, that's just because I'm already using SweetFX. Uh, so yes to all. But essentially, you just copy it into this file. And if you'd like to customize it, all you have to do is go to the settings and change these values. But you may not be comfortable with that or know what they do and are a little bit worried about tweaking it. And that's where this next website comes in. Uh, there is a website called sfxforthelazy.net, and here you can search any game that's compatible with SweetFX, and you can find presets with screenshots. So let's look up Dishonored. As we can see here, there's a ton of different SweetFX presets. You can see when they were uploaded and what they are. So uh, there's a darker, sharper reality, and then there's this uh, best Dishonored. But let's look at this darker reality kind of thing. <laughs> we can click on the screenshots. And it just sort of shows you the differences. Now, this isn't a very good example because it's just the one screenshot. But if we look over at, say, the best Dishonored one, we can see here, this one makes the game look very dark. Many of the screenshots here use split screen mode. It allows you to compare using this bar to see the sweet effects and the default game side by side. That would make it atmospheric, so I'm going to download that one. So we're going to go back to the main page, and we are going to download the preset. The preset is going to come out like this. Uh, just a text file, but as you can see, it's all the effects in the settings. So what I could do is I could copy this and I could paste it into the settings, which I will show you how to do. I'm then going to run some comparison shots of just exactly what this looks like, but then we're going to cover a tool that's going to make this a heck of a lot easier, so you don't have to go navigating around in text files as often. So I copied these Dishonored settings, and now... I open up the Dishonored folder and I find the SweetFX settings. So I'm going to type S, SweetFX settings.txt. Uh, then I pretty much go from right here, scroll all the way down that huge list, and I paste. And as we can see, it uh, puts that in there, just exactly how it is, and it will work in the game. But I find this is cumbersome, and for a lot of beginners, uh, they don't really like navigating through text files, they're not sure what some things mean, they're worried about breaking it, or they might just accidentally break it. Uh, and that's where this next uh, program comes in. Uh, we're looking at a utility now. Uh, this is a utility made by somebody by the name of CJ. Uh, and what it is, is a configurator for sweet effects. 
So scroll down and I'm going to recommend that you download the stable version. There is an alpha version of this, but there's also a stable version. Uh, there's an installer version and a standalone version. Take whatever you want. I'll download the uh, configurator version here. I have the other version already on my desktop, but we'll just so we can go through this. Uh, I will extract and open it up. As we can see, there is uh, an executable. If you run this executable, it will open up uh, the game. You can also get the installer version, which installs the program onto your computer so that you always have it. But essentially, you're presented with this screen. Now, this does nothing currently. That's because you have to find the executable for the game. So we're gonna click Add Game. And I'm going to go to the Dishonored directory, which is right here. Uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dishonored, Binary, Win32. I'm going to select the Dishonored.exe and open. As we can see, it says active. That's because we already pasted Sweet Effects in there. The other brilliant thing about this utility is it allows you to remove Sweet Effects at the click of a button. So as we can see, we can add and we can remove the Sweet Effects without actually having to navigate through the files and pull out them one by one, which can be cumbersome and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to miss them. So let's add the Sweet Effects to the game. As we can see here, this tool allows us to customize Sweet Effects however we want. Uh, we can add Technicolor processes, uh, we can change the vibrance, the brightness, all sorts of things. As you can see, values from 0 to 1. Some of them are limited like this, some of them uh, you can actually push it a little bit and it does stuff. There are other little modes here that allow for a split screen screenshot comparisons, other things like that. You can add sepia or gray tones to the thing. It's very useful. So if you don't like the look of this particular Sweet Effects preset that I'm using, go ahead and make your own or find one that suits your tastes. A couple other things we have to cover before we look at some, uh, some in-game footage here though. You can launch the game, but you can also go to Sweet Effects Injector Settings. And here we have keys. Uh, there's three keys, one that toggles it on and off. If you've ever used an ENB, you'll know there's a key that can activate it and deactivate it. This is useful for doing comparisons. The second one is a screenshot button that you can use to take screenshots to show off your presets or just to show your friends or anybody else how awesome your game looks. The third button is a reload button. What this does is allows you to change the injector while the game is running. So if I were to have Dishonored running in a small window here or here or if I had it running on one of my other monitors and I alt tabbed out came here changed a setting because I didn't quite like it all I'd have to do is hit the pause key on my keyboard to reload it if you'd like to rebind any of these keys just click on a field and push any key uh, and it will automatically put in the number for you so you don't need to worry about that well, that's about it for this video. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate if you did. Uh, there's going to be another video in this series at some point where I cover how to make your own presets and adjust things to your exact liking. I'd also just like to let you know that... Uh and I'd recommend that you check out some of my other videos. I have modding tutorials for all sorts of games. Uh, Dragon Age and Fallout 3 are some currently active series that I'm working on. I have a lot of Knights of the Old Republic stuff, so go check that out. Uh, I'm also going to be covering Sweet Effects presets for games at some point, I believe. Uh, just a quick little spotlight video on them. Uh, I think the first one that I'm going to do is Battlefront. I found some cool settings for that, and I'm going to show them off and link a download for everybody. That's all there is. Sorry for the long outro. See you later. I've been Zul. Have an excellent day.